one. What up, YouTube? Agent Persuasion here, and I'm here with my boy Logan, who just got second place here at YCS Indy, playing what deck, my friend? Rescuers. And then we're also here with First to Last Gaming. Didn't want to forget that. Uh, any shouts you want to give before we do this uh, this lit profile, my friend? Oh uh, yeah, first and foremost, I want to shout out my team, First to Last Gaming. I don't want to shout out the Facebook group, Clussy Town. That's where it all goes down. The Clussy Town Discord. That's where all the best players in the world are, for sure. Uh, big shout out to Tristan and Danny. I definitely play tests with them the most. Yeah. Trevor, Griff as well. Ollie, Destin, uh, Manov. I don't know who else I'm forgetting. I just did the shout outs before. So. <laughs> <laughs> Nate. Oh, yeah, definitely shout out Nate. He's a, he's the cheerleader. Yeah. He's the mascot. Shout out Johnny. He's my top 32 opponent. <laughs> Shout out Jobber. Yes. Shout out Gem. And you just want to get his profile? Yeah, man, let's uh, do it. You were playing Rescue Ace, of I course. Was. So, the best card in Yu Gi Oh! This card lets you set four from deck. Two Rescue Ace Turbulence. Wee! Wee! Then I played three Stratos, Rescue Ace Airlifter. Wee! I played two Rescue Ace Hydrant. Wee! Uh, this, I wanted to go to three, but I maxed out the Dia Bellstar engine. So I felt like I didn't need more than two. And I think for the most part, two was fine. I know the guy who won played three, but our lists were pretty different. Uh, two Preventer. This card's broken. This card's not okay. He said this card's not okay. <laughs> One Rescue Ace uh, Impulse. I don't know the name. I barely use this card. This card's not good. You probably don't need it. I think I resolved this card like maybe two times. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'd play that again. Uh, then I played three of the Black Witch. This card is crazy. I don't know how people aren't playing three of this card. I know the guy that won played one, but he did not play uh, Jet Synchron. This card was insane as well. My end board is, uh, if I open any sort of two card combination of like this, Wanted, uh, plus Airlifter, like Emergency, or like any way to get to Turbulence, I just end on Baron Savage, like set four. Um, this card just lets you extend through a lot. Then I played three better e because it lets you dodge like hand traps and dodge uh, interactions. Uh, then I played Rota. Uh, this is kind of debatable. I played three Prospy. Um, I just wanted my non engine was built to where I could draw it as like my sixth card, and I felt like being able to dig for my non engine made this like a pseudo version of non engine. I also just like I only bricked one time during like day one, day two, and top cut, which I, I think this card was like I always had this card going out second, like sided out going second as well. So I think three was fine. Maybe I'd go down to two. Um, I played three Wanted and one of this thing, I don't know what it's called. That's pretty standard, those cards are insane. Um, play Rescue and Alert. And the Field Spell, Rescue, a Rescue Ace Headquarters. <laughs> um, I think in the future maybe I'd play two Alert. This card, like, I pretty much lost to this card in the finals. There's so many times where like they try to interrupt you on the hydrant and you can just like chain this card and get turbulence and you just win. Um, and then for my non-engine, I played three Ash, three Imperm, three Talents, and then the best card in the deck, three Super Poly. And then I played these two cards, you never want to draw them, so I don't even know the names. <laughs> Uh, that was 42 cards. The math was perfect. Don't question it. Uh, 13, 13, 3 was the math. It all makes sense. Uh, the side deck, I sided 3 Droll, uh, 3 Nib, <laughs> 3 Biscules. Uh, these cards are really good because they can beat over an Inspector Border. <laughs> Did that happen? Did that happen it, though? It, it didn't happen, but that was my game plan. <laughs> oh yeah, Duster was crazy. Uh, I decided three spellbound. I never drew this card. It did nothing. It's probably really good, but I only played one purely and I just got like destroyed. He had like thrust, talents, duster, uh evenly, like everything. Um see so, yeah, I I probably still side this in the future. And then I said one Panker Tops. This is my boy. This card is crazy. Goes in against like everything going second, especially the mirror. 
Feather Duster won me a lot of games, especially, especially, with, Frosty, <laughs> especially with Frosty. Like if you play, if you play like any one of, it's like you're playing four kind of because you just always find it. Um, and then Reinforce. This card's actually a good trap card. This card lets you grind like any like against Labyrinth and the Mirror Match. It lets you reset a spell. It's the only way to get back the field spell from the graveyard. Um, and also it protects Hydrant. There's a lot of openings where like if you open kind of weak and you only have Turbulence, if you go like set up like Preventer uh, Hydrant with this, there's like no way they can crack through it. Pretty much makes it a, uh, a Towers. Uh, Did you feel like there was any like anything your side deck that you felt like did it, like you weren't able to side to cover that matchup? Runic stuff. For like. For, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I gave up the back row deck matchup, but luckily all the back row decks I played up beat anyways. Mm -hmm. I just drew Duster a lot and Picker Talk. <laughs> yeah, I was unlucky. Um, I, I won the die like I lost most of my die rolls throughout the tournament, but I ended up winning the die rolls that mattered, mm -hmm. which is kind of like what you need to have happen to go far in a tournament um and then i do feel like i wanted i wish i i definitely wish i cited enemy controller yeah. i had that card in my side deck until like thursday and i took it out last minute for spellbound i think this would have just been better as enemy controller because econ's still good against purely mm -hmm. um and maybe also like anti-spell or solemn judgment uh people flip judgment on me a lot but they kept losing when they did, <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't play that card. Uh, Gave it lethal lines. You <laughs> yeah, kill them. Oh, it was crazy. In top in top eight, I set up my full board, and uh, like lethal is just so easy in this deck. I put him to one. He had one card with the hydrant on field. He literally summoned turbulence, uh, set rescue, rescued back my IP, made Celine, Celine summoned back, made access code, pop both my monsters, and did eighty three through my whole board. It was like, I don't I don't really want to be activating Solemn Judgment right now. You just That's die. Fair. Wait, how do you make Selene with that IP? With the Charmers. IP into Selene? Yeah, he had a spellcaster. Yeah, he had a spellcaster. Um, for the extra deck, play Link Rebo. This guy's crazy. I found out on Thursday that this is a quick effect in the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> I, had no, I wanted to cut this card for Anima. I'm like, I, I messaged like eight people. I'm like, why do we play this card instead of Anima? Nobody could give me an answer. And then I just started playing games with Tristan. I'm like, I read the card. It has a parentheses quick effect. That's new to me. <laughs> that was new. Um, <laughs> sick container on Hydra, <laughs> I played both of the Charmers. In testing, these cards were crazy. Uh, at the tournament, like this card had no text and this card summoned back in ash one time um played two sp i probably some of these like 40 times 50 times jesus christ cards are broken i um, know we said this before but do you do you actually feel like you need, you're gonna need the third sp yes <laughs> right i needed the third sp or actually what i needed was uh uh nightmare phoenix a couple of times like there's just some niche situations kept coming up where like I would already have an SP in rotation, and I wanted like another way to clear, clear stuff. So maybe like a unicorn or something. Uh, I played IP. This is part of my end board when I don't draw the Diabell Stars. This card's insane. Uh, access code. I this card was a blank in my extra deck. I summoned it one time, I think, against Runic Stun Johnny. <laughs> Me, I died. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Proxy and Dweller. These cards are broken. I summoned it top eight against uh, Unchained. I summoned it against Tear. Outside of that, I never made him, but when it came up, it was definitely worth it. Uh, then I played Savage Baron. It's part of my combo. I'll, sh uh, I'll run through that in like a second. Then I played a bunch of Super Poly targets, and this was really dumb. Um, I played Garura. I never summoned it. I played Guilty. I never summoned it. I played Draco Quest. I never summoned it. And I summoned Mud Dragon like 25 times. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this card was way too good. Mm -hmm. There was times where like in the mirror match, I could have summoned Garura or summoned Guilty. And I legit like was a super following my own monsters to make this card. Because when you play it, when you summon this, there's nothing they can do in the mirror. I should have just played Instant Fusion in my main deck as well. That card was crazy. That card is crazy. Um... I feel like the, the other reason why like, we, like, never comes up to where we don't get to, like, play the extra deck targets, too, is that, like, we're in a format where there's so many more diverse decks. Yeah. Like, if you play against Flu, you need Garura. If you play against, like, Sprite Board, sometimes you need the Garura, too. I definitely did not need this card, but Danny playtested Mana Diem a lot versus me <laughs> and kind of spooked me into playing it. Yeah. 
Also, like, this card can clear this board, which I thought people might make. Um, this definitely should have been a Selene, though. I had Selene in my deck. That was, like, the one card I changed. Big mistake not playing that card. Although I never really needed it, there's definitely times where, like, it would have been nice to have. Um, and then just before we end this, let me... So I had three end boards I was making. Um, so basically, I'm just going to kind of shortcut it gonna go through like every combination that you can possibly have but pretty much if you have any of these cards these are all one card starters any of these can get you to a dweller turn one with you make proxy f you bring back this and then you fuse proxy f and whatever you have for mud dragon you make dweller so if i know i'm against a deck where dweller is good i made dweller turn one um if I open this plus this, or this plus this, or there's a million other combinations that can get you to this, but that's the most simple line. I would end on Savage, Barone with four set. Mm -hmm. And then I if I that. open just like, basically just Airlifter, or if I just like, if I had Nib in hand or I was like playing more conservative, I would end on uh, IP with uh, Preventer on field. And... Basically, what this will let you do is it lets you play around uh, Super Poly really well. And when you link this off, you make SP to banish on their turn. Preventer sum summons back Airlifter, you get the follow-up. And then you go Rescue, summon back Preventer, and you get the Book of Moon as well. So Jeez. I felt like that was just the most safe play for the one-card combos. And yeah, I think that's pretty much a deck. Um, my matchups were pretty good. I lost to Rika. I lost to purely the purely match. I kind of just like gave up the match because it was I was already guaranteed top, and I didn't want to like, reveal too much about my deck. So I was legit just like setting a monster pass and just letting him reveal his own deck. Mm. He showed me like evenly matched lightning storm and all that. Um, and then in the finals, obviously, I lost to the mirror. Econ is crazy. He said econ crazy. <laughs> yeah, that card is crazy. Well, congratulations on getting second place, Logan. You it's well deserved. Next time you're gonna get that trophy for sure. I already know because you, you've been grinding out here. I see you, brother. And yeah, congrats again and thanks for deck profile, Thank bro. Thank you.